Hi again, it's Frank here with OxygenGuy.com and here I'm here to talk to you today yes, excuse me, I'm here today to talk to you about how to use your four-wheel lightweight rollator or four-wheel lightweight walker. This here, nice model here, has brakes <clears throat> as you can see, kind of like bicycle brakes, also a seat, and four wheels. Now, <clears throat> when generally using your walker, what you're going to want to do is have your arms out straight, almost straight, just slight bend in the elbow on each side. And you want to stand up straight. Now, if you're not able to get that right angle, what you have to do is take up the length one way or the other, down or up. Now, if you're really height impaired or shorter person so to speak you might have to get a, uh, a smaller model but for me this one works just fine in fact if you're taller <clears throat> you might have to this has an adjustment for the handles where you can actually unscrew the screw and you can pull up the the handlebar to, to adjust it for height <clears throat> but I've set this up just as we need it so take, standing up straight, slightly bent on the elbow on each side. You take your weaker foot and you put it forward, then followed by your stronger foot. Now if both feet are weak, you would actually just use either one, whichever you're more comfortable with. But following the one, following the other, carefully <coughs> And it's important to use your walker because it was prescribed for a reason. There's so many times I've gone to people's houses and a major fall can put you in the hospital. Well, yeah, most of the time I run into people that are in the hospital, but a major fall can put you in the hospital for quite some time. So definitely use your walkers and get, get the full benefit out of them. Since you're, you're paying for them, you might as well get it. <clears throat> Now, this particular model, which a lot of the rollators do, has a brake. The grip brake, of course, but it also has a locking brake, which you pull up to grip it for a quick brake. You can also lock it in by pushing it the other way, pushing it down. What that's going to do is, say you're standing somewhere for a bit, it'll actually give you, you know, a firm brake that you can use to, say, reach for something and know you're rollator is not going to go flying away from you so to speak. <clears throat> now to release the brake you just pull back on it and you're good to go. So <clears throat> whenever you're ready to put it in the car you would just pick it up by its seat and as you see it collapses and it's ready to roll. Then when you get out of the car just put it down and basically what happens is when you put it down the whole seat collapses back open you just don't want to get your fingers pinched in there. But otherwise, you put it down and you're ready to walk. All right, I'm Frank. This is Oxygen Guy. This is how to use your four wheel lightweight walker, four wheel lightweight rollator. And I hope you have a good day. We'll see you soon. Be safe. Catch you later. Oh, don't forget to like this video, subscribe and comment if you'd like. I'd like to hear from you. Have a good one. Oh, excuse me.